So did Gina Caruso deserve to get fired? You know, the thing is, it's really difficult to find some sort of sympathy with Gina. Because here's the thing. She's been writing, like, tweets that just have you looking like, I'm sorry, what? For quite a while. And if we're going to be honest, the fact that Disney didn't fire her sooner for some of the tweets that she wrote is pretty amazing. You know, they fired um, James Gunn. And these are tweets that he wrote years ago. Okay. And that's another thing. This isn't one of those, this isn't one of those situations where, you know, she wrote some really terrible tweets like a couple of years ago. This shit was recent. And think about it. The fact that she tried, in, in one of her tweets, the fact that she tried to compare Republicans to the victims of the Holocaust is just fucking insane. And there's a lot of people that are champion for Gina and are upset the fact that she got fired and it's here's the thing I'm not a fan of the fact that like you know what she does during her off time affects her at work you know she should be able to honestly tell you the truth in reality she should be able to write whatever the hell she wants because it has nothing to do with what she's doing at work but you know unfortunately that's not how things work there's PR, there's all sorts of shit, and, you know, it's 2021, the fact that it's like, I can't imagine that she didn't sit there and, and just think when she was writing this tweet that, yep, this is cool, I'm totally not gonna lose my job over this, it's just, again, fucking insane, um, so, yeah, you know, and, and it's, it sucks, because it's one of those things where it's like, I love seeing Gina, and pretty much anything that I can possibly see her in. Um, but I mean, if we're going to be fucking honest, it's not as though like Gina Caruso was like the glue that was holding the Mandalorian together. You know, she wasn't. Um, don't get me wrong. She was a great fucking character. But it's one of those things where it's like she, she knew better. You know, she should have knew better. You know, there's tweets that people are going to write that you're not going to agree with. You know, there was a lot of people that didn't agree with the fact that she was a Trump supporter. Whatever. Um, but certain tweets, certain things that you write, it, it's like you can write it, you know. She has freedom of speech, but you know what? There, there's fucking consequences. Um, and this is one of those things where it's like, and I, I was watching a video with um, Matt Jarbo. And there were a bunch of people at the bottom. And it was like, see, you know, this is why you get rid of your, your Twitter account, your Instagram account. Because, you know, you, you just can't write anything. You're going to get in trouble for everything. And that's not a way to fucking live. That's not a way to live, you know. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's fucking common sense. And I can't believe somebody of her age really thought that writing the shit that she wrote Made fucking sense. Now again, you're having people that's defending her. Talking about, oh, the woke crowd. The woke crowd, you know, got their way. And they were sent there whining and shit like that. What the fuck did you expect Disney to do? When you start comparing Republicans in the same limelight as, you know, like the Holocaust and shit. What the fuck did you think they were going to do? You thought they were going to be like, nah, that's cool. We stand by her. Like, and yeah... I've heard that there's other people that they did stand by um, that said shit that was unfucking believable but for whatever odd reason, they didn't let this girl go. What's her name? Christina Ariella. She wrote some real fucked up shit and for whatever odd reason, Disney decided to stick behind her. Um... So I'm not exactly a fucking fan of that. And I know there are a lot of Star Wars fans that are upset that she's not going to be in a Mandalorian. But you know what? 
no offense, and I don't sit there and say this to a, you know, I'm not going to sit there and lump all Star Wars fans together. But let's be honest, you can't fucking please some of those people. You really can. Every time they make a movie, there's always going to be a Star Wars fan, some basement dwelling fucking piece of garbage that's going to sit there and be like, well, I don't like this because of this. I don't like this because of that. So, you know, I, I really do take what their Smith is saying as far as this whole Gina Caruso thing with a grain of salt. But, um, you know, she did this shit to herself. So she has nobody to blame except for herself. Um, but you know what, at the end of the day, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you believe that she should have been fired? Do you think that Disney should have stuck behind her? I really don't understand how with the PR disaster that they're going to get. And it's not like the economy is really doing so well where they could just sit there and just ride it off and just ride the ship or whatever. But, um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. I will catch everyone in the next video.